Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph, if you haven't watched any of my videos before. Basically a mixture of reviews, grocery haul, holidays, trips away, that kind of thing. Thank you for tuning in. Um, what a weird time we are living in at the moment. Obviously the whole world is being affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and in Australia that's been no exception. I have been self-isolating now for just over six weeks I think it is. It might even be seven, I'm not sure. I'm, the days all blur together. I'm 26 weeks pregnant and part of the reason that I'm self-isolating is because of that. And I haven't been grocery shopping. The last time I went shopping was about six weeks ago and my mum's just been doing little grocery drop-offs and things to me um, in a carer's capacity uh, because I'm pregnant which is allowed we've um, been really strictly sticking to the rules haven't seen people and it's been pretty hard as I'm sure it is for everybody so as a result of that I did some online shopping for the first time online shopping was cancelled by Coles and Woolworths who are the two providers of online shopping in Australia and they had stopped doing home delivery because they just couldn't keep up with the demand they didn't have the supply in store and so things are starting to normalize people are stopping the panic buying thank goodness and i was able to get most of the things i need some tips if you haven't online shopped before because this is some reflective mistakes um have a list i didn't have a list i just frantically shopped um in a break that i had i'm back at work at home <laughs> which is weird teaching from home so yeah i had to do um, that really quickly and i didn't really concentrate and i missed a whole heap of things particularly cat food and cat biscuits, which I really needed. Yeah, so make sure that you um, have a list. Make sure that you don't forget things like I did. Keep in mind that you are shopping differently, so you're not going through the aisles and browsing in the same way that you would. Best tip is if you can look at specials first, see if there's anything on your list where there are specials. Get the specials under control and then go from there. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'll show you what I got. I don't think I got a lot. I feel like um, it was pretty expensive for what I got, but I think that's just the nature of what's going on around the world at the moment. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and turn on that notifications bell and leave me a comment below. Um, did you think I got a lot? You know, let me know. So online shopping has been reactivated where I live. We haven't been able to do it for about four or six weeks now. Um, stuff's just pricey like a whole pumpkin is going to cost me $15 which is madness um and yeah like there are some specials but they're not like super specials so I haven't even got much in my basket yet and it's already coming to nearly $60 yeah look walnuts I got a kilogram of chicken but just a few bits and pieces um I'm already at $58.67 yikes So the groceries just got delivered. It's 20 to 8 in the morning. I requested a time slot between 7 and 1. Oh, morning's better, I guess. <laughs> I just had to get out of bed. Emmett slept funny because he's teething, so he was in our bed at like 5 o'clock. I thought I'd start off. I thought I'd start off with our frozen stuff. I'm going to try and speak a little slower. I've been told that I speak fast. I know that I do, but I just don't want to bore people. So <laughs> can you let me know? Do you prefer if I speak fast or if I speak slow? Well, you don't care. I don't know. Anyway, husband was complaining that there was not enough fun food, as he calls it. He's a little stick figure, and he can kind of get away with eating what he wants. Not from a health perspective, but from a weight perspective. So I bought some square meat pies, mostly for when he's home on the weekends. This is, I allowed substitutions. So if you shop, I don't know if this is the same in other countries, but in Australia, you can allow for substitutions in your grocery store. So I wanted a kilogram of dim sims, which are quite large. I don't even know if they have dim sims that look like the ones we have in Australia in other countries they're really strange they're quite big they substituted a kilogram and a half of those for 660 grams of chicken dim sims so that's these technically were more expensive but that's really a fail because these are certainly not going to fill up my empty pit husband but they will be good for my son so anyway you win some you lose some that's it for freezer i also got a kilogram of shortcut bacon controversial because i know it's a type type one level one carcinogen according to i think the world health organization we were quite beleaguered at the moment, but anyway. And um, we use this for a number of things. For breakfast, um, for cooking, I make um, a, a really delicious um, chicken soup. It goes in zucchini slice, just lots of things. So I support that. That's a kilogram, so I will break that into smaller parts and freeze it. Ham, again, <laughs> controversial, but you know, whatever. We like it. We don't eat it every day. Um, ham cheese sandwiches for the husband. Toasties for me, because I'm pregnant and I'm pretty conscious of listeria, so I cook the heck out of it to make sure it heats up to at least 73 degrees Celsius, I believe, or 76, something like that. I also bought some free-range chicken breasts. 
I've been eating a bit all over the place because I haven't been able to control my shopping for so long and I don't want to burden my mum so I only like give her little lists um, and we've been making do with a lot of stuff from the pantry I've been making lots of soups and things but I have been eating too many carbs so I bought this because I want to make some salads so I'm going to use that with some halloumi some hummus some walnuts some spinach some pumpkin some avocado to make one of my favorite salads um, and probably some beetroot that I've got in the pantry stores as well ditto on these they were the cheapest of the you know high protein low carb ish type yogurts so they're for a snack for me because I've been working from home now as a school teacher and just sometimes really busy and I don't really have time to eat properly and I'm just like scarfing down like a toasted sandwich this hopefully will stop that my bread bergen wholemeal and seeds if you haven't already seen it and you are someone who's conscious of carbohydrates carbohydrates just don't agree with me so i just need to keep them as low as possible 19.3 grams for two slices which if we compare two slices of this white high fiber loaf that i feed to my husband because he doesn't like brown bread um 28.2 and there's no way this is anywhere near as filling either so that's just my little reasoning behind that the ever elusive toilet paper hi baby and it's in our bed still i ordered the 20 pack of quilton and i got the 12 pack of sorbent whatever at the end of the day i have toilet paper it's a semi-miracle walnuts uh, as i said for my salad um also probably just have a little bit for snacks i chop them up really small for my salads did on the pumpkin that's for my salad most of our fresh fruit and not fresh fruit frozen our fresh vegetables are coming with our hello fresh meals um some oranges because my mum told me that emmett loves them she also luckily gets to look after him she's had she was having so many deprivations from seeing him and she can look after him now as a carer because i have to work so i don't send him to daycare at the moment because i just um don't want him to be around too many other people and then he can you know pass on things to me um or get sick himself so also got some onions i requested um loose apples but they came in a bag they did listen to my other loose packaging requests though so that's good because if they had a pack of avocado in a little bag i would have been super mad trivial things i know but you know i'm just being real here one sweet potato i would have got more if i realized how small that would be a head of broccoli some salted butter i've been baking like a batch of cookies a week um they're like our sweet treat been making that from sort of scratch that's sort of like our homemade thing over here english muffins um we all like these so that's they're self-explanatory do you have english oh yeah of course you would <laughs> you have them at mcdonald's what a dumb question you know what i found really weird at mcdonald's if you're from america can you please tell me if you like those mcgriddle things or not you know the ones with like the little pancakes with the things i find them so weird i had one in america and it was sweet and it freaked me out i was like why is this sweet it has eggs and stuff in it we don't have anything like that in australia just fyi <laughs> eggs bake cook eat for breakfast self-explanatory baby wipes again i tried to make my own they were really bad i probably should have tried another recipe but i've been so busy that we've gone back to buying them i asked for a two liter a three liter milk we got a two liter milk again you know i'm not going to complain just some crackers for emmett for myself he likes them with hummus i'll probably have them with cheese there's something that i try and have just a few of as a snack option promite oh my god okay this is a controversial opinion but i 100 percent prefer promite to vegemite very very controversial some would say un-australian however i really don't care if you've never tried it it's quite a thinner consistency to vegemite vegemite's quite thick and i would describe it as a little sweet a little um umami a little bit salty it says it can be great spread on english muffins maybe that's what i'll have for breakfast and i just think it's delicious but as i said controversial a lot of people don't like it <laughs> and a lot of people not only don't like it but would be appalled that i like it more than veggie mine <laughs> Can, if you do like it and you're a fan, can you let me know in the comments below and tell me why you like it more or tell me why you just like it in general? That'd be great. <laughs> Twisties, Dylan, Emmett, their treat for the week. Um, baking chop chips for biscuits and things and rounding out my grocery haul. After eight years, it's back. Cadbury Marble. I have memories of this being one of my favorite chocolates eight, nine, ten years ago. I can't quite remember what it tastes like it is described as dairy milk chocolate and dream white chocolate blend with hazelnut praline center my sister-in-law was like i don't think i loved it she's like but i will try it and she's like you need to get onto it i've heard from some reports that the scent is now is a little bit um too hazelnutty and a little bit too much like nutella or nutella as depending on how you say it from your country but i know there, i was part of a facebook page to bring back marble chocolate i'm actually so surprised they even had this i'm surprised this didn't get substituted for like hazelnut or something i have actually thought about doing a youtube video ranking my favorite capri chocolates 
but I kind of thought I shouldn't be so gluttonous. But have you tried marble? Do you like it? Did you like the new one? Do you have this in the UK, in America, Europe? Um, is it common? Oh, they've also changed the Cadbury uh, logo for the first time in a long time. It's like more thin and, I don't know, swirly or something. Anywho, that is all I got. I'm going to reveal the total and you're going to be like, what the heck? Yeah, so that's it. As you can tell, I feel like... There wasn't that much for the price that I paid, which is like $162 or something like that. I think that definitely the online stuff is a bit pricey. I think groceries in general are a bit pricier at the moment. Are you finding that? Do you find like that your groceries are a bit more expensive and that you're not able to get everything that you need still? Um, what's it like in your country? Hope everyone's holding up okay. I know this is really strange times and I hope things return to normal for you as soon as possible. See you guys. See you next time.